All right, I just wanted to show this borderized Mosin I've got. And I didn't do this to this gun. I got this gun for free. A guy that collects military surplus rifles did this to it many years ago and he, I think he's kind of disappointed in himself. He didn't wind up liking when it came out though. It makes a mediocre sporter gun. I mean, he took a cool historical piece, pretty much ruined it. And the crazy thing was, you see the CH, this is an ex-sniper. This is a Tula 1943. This was actually a sniper rifle during World War II. And you can also see over here you can see the screw holes where the P scope mount would have been attached to the rifle over here on this side. And then they put screws in there and ground them off. I don't know my chicken, this is the most friendly chicken out of them all. Here, come on. Anyway, he had a gunsmith like do this. I, I think this is really, I don't know what the words are for this, but it's just screwed on. I've thought about welding a bolt handle back straight or maybe even tacking this on, but so far it hasn't fallen off. And actually, I've used this rifle quite a bit. The back sight was taken off. The gunsmith did this. The barrel, it wasn't this short. I went ahead and shortened it to 19 inches. But some had already been taken off. Where the front sight had been, it was already taken off. If I could have just bought some parts and restored it, I think I would have. But since the barrel was already cut down, I went in and cut it down. I, I made my own front sight. And actually that brass is uh, out of a piece of artillery shell fragment. Part of the fuse. I'm just kind of ground it down to fit in there. Put the screws and JB Weld, it's held. I used the screw holes for the scope mount. One of those like ATI scope mounts was on this. And this is actually a piece of a pellet gun. Seems to work all right though. You know, sad, it was a numbers matching gun. And then there's something else that's kind of funny or sad or both at the same time. Let, let me take it apart. And there's something ridiculous inside of the stock. Oh, and before I take it apart, I'm going to show this, how the barrel is. Look how non-concentric that bore is. It's one reason some of these military guns make poor sporter rifles. Now, the gun shoots fine. And I, and I, I wonder if this actually makes the barrel stiffer. It, it shoots great, and it's actually got a... 0.315 bore so it's got a very big bore it does have some light pitting inside of it very very light um but yeah that's that's way out around way off center all right got it out of stock so anyway here's his ati Camel sporter stock. And look how they spelled Mosin. Moisin. Moisin again. M O I S I N. It's supposed to be M O I I mean M O S I N. That I is extra. So I mean they they didn't even know how to spell Mosin again and they're selling stuff so people will ruin them by the thousands. And while it's out of the stock, th this is how you date Mosin receivers, at least Russian ones. Under the tang, you, you got to take it out of the stock. And you'll have the last two uh, numbers of the year. Like my Finnish M39 has a 9.6. I believe it has a hammer for two. Uh, well, that would be 1896, and this one's got the 4.3 for 1943. And it's got part of the Tula Star. These different factories had different symbols had changed over the years and stuff a little bit well sometimes a lot you can see where the back sight was it's got some numbers i'm not sure what they are and i used to have another mosin it was actually my first one it was a m44 russian and it was a, had a 1943 date on it, so it was one of the first 
run of the M44s. And I bought it for 50 bucks when I was 16 years old. And it had a really busy, you know, it was a, it was an easier ismash or whatever. It had the hammer and sickle. It had 1943. It had 1948. I think it had a big MO. And it had a bunch of other things on it. I had no idea what they were. I mean, it was very busy up here. And unfortunately, it got stolen. I left it at a friend's house. And one of our uh, illegal alien friends, I, I had known the guy for a long time. He was staying at my buddy's house. And he wound up getting on meth. And one day came over and stole a bunch of the guns. And one of those guns was my Mosin. I, I was pretty hurt about it. They, the guy left. He, he wound up stealing a bunch of stuff. Getting in a bunch of trouble. And he fled back to Juarez. Haven't heard of him since. And I was pretty hurt over it. I really liked that rifle. It was my favorite rifle. And I couldn't get a Mosin for a long time. I, I would look at him and I, I just couldn't buy myself. I just couldn't make myself buy one. I kind of missed out when they were all cheap. And I finally got that M39 and then a guy gave me this one.